let me show you how to create a quiz on Google Forms. So let me show you how right now. Hey, what's up, everyone? This is George from New Magazine, and I'm going to show you how to create a quiz on Google Forms. Now, this is my Google Forms dashboard, and if you don't know how to get here, just open up any Google service and click on this options button, scroll down here, and you're going to find forms right here. OK, so let's get started with a brand new form. So let's click on blank form. And the first thing you need to do is to activate the quiz option. To do that, we're going to go into settings and in settings, we have this option. Make this a quiz. So we're going to enable this and we're going to get new options here. Now, the first option is release grades. That means that they can immediately after each submission, get the grades. That means that when they fill it out the quiz and they finish, they have the option to click on a button and they'll receive the grades for the score that you've, you've selected. Okay. Or later after manual review. So you check this, everything's fine. Then they can go ahead and review the score. Okay. And then you have options like miss questions. So the respondents can see which questions were answered incorrectly. If not, you can disable this. Now, this could be a really good use case, depending on how you plan to use this. OK, the next option is correct answers. That means the respondents can see correct answers after grades are released. So again, immediately after they are released. OK, point values, they can see the point value. And I'll show you that you can see after each after each quiz question, you're going to be an option to view the points. You can disable this which could be a good idea or not, depending on your use case. OK, and then there's a global quiz default. So you can set a default points for each one of the answers. But if you have the zero, you can go ahead and manually select the points for each one of the questions. So if it's a hard question, you can give them more points. And if it's a super easy question, give them less points. So it's up to you. OK, so once this is enabled and you're good to go, we're going to go back into questions and you have the option to obviously customize your quiz. And then we have the questions um, for this case. We're going to use multiple choice and then you have the question that you're going to ask. For example, what color are the trees? OK, just a quick option here. We're going to say. Purple, red, green, and we're going to keep it like that. OK, now we've just added some questions that they are able to respond, but we haven't designated which one is the correct answer to do that. We're going to go and click on the answer key. So let's select this. And we're going to select which one is the correct answer. In this case, it's green. And then we're going to designate how many points we're going to assign to this answer when it's responded correctly. OK, so in this case, I'm going to go with 10 points for this question. I'm going to say it's a super easy one. And then we have the option to add answer feedback. So in answer feedback, there's two options. One is the incorrect answers and the correct answers. So incorrect, I'm just going to say wrong, but you can put something else. We have the option to add a link with a with, with a button here. That means that if they respond incorrectly, you can give a link to the response so they can go ahead and read more about it. OK, so for example, if it's a question about history, well, send them to a link where the answer is, but they, they have to read it and you give a, a text display option here. OK, there's also the video. You can add a video link, just search for the video and insert it. OK, and you, you have the same options for correct answers. So you have your enter feedback, your link and a video. So depending if you want to enable those. So there we go. We now designated the correct answer and it's 10 points. Let's click on done and we finished with the first one. All right. We can go ahead and add a new one by clicking on this plus button, which is add a question. OK, and again, we can add another simple question like, for example, what colors are in the US flag? OK, and option one would be red, white, blue. And another response would be red, white, green and just as questions like that. OK, and again, we have to provide the answer for this, which is in this case, the first one. And we are going to give it, for example, one point because it's super easy. OK, so let's click done. All right. So let's just say that our quiz is now set up. We've added all multiple questions and we're good to go to share. Well, we can go ahead and preview it right here by clicking on this little eye. Go ahead and click on it and we're able to view the quiz right here. Now, remember, I told you you have the option to display the points and this is where you're going to be able to view it. So you can see it's 10 points here, one point. And it's up to you if you want to enable this or not. And in this case, I've enabled it and that's why you are viewing it right there. OK, so let's go ahead and share this quiz so we can fill it out and see the answers for the points that we're going to get. OK, so we're going to click on send. We are going to click on this link. Let's go and copy this and we're going to open up this in incognito mode. So just pretend that we send it to someone. OK, so I'll just add a test email here. 
test.com and we're going to respond here by doing a correct answer here and a wrong answer here okay there we go we have the option to this we have the option to deselect and go ahead and select again if we like we here and that's a good option when you make this required or not in this case it's not required so we can go ahead and deselect it and continue but in this case we leave it as open to required or not okay let's go ahead and send this and we have the option to view the score okay so in this case you can see that this one is correct and this one is wrong okay so and we got a total of 10 out of 11 points okay so it's a really great option there now right now i just showed you that these weren't required we can change that by enabling this which is always a good option especially if it's a quiz you have to make them answer if that's something that you want to make it required okay so it's a really great great way to do it so as i mentioned before once your quiz is set up and done you have the option to obviously customize it to add some images add some header change fonts etc and when you're good to go send it out by sending it out via email link or embedding it on a website so it's up to you how you want to send it out now that's for creating a quiz on google forms but if you want something more advanced with more options there's also the option of job form okay with job form you have the option to create quizzes and it's going to give you a ton of options okay so if we create a form and in this case i'm going to use a template because we're going to show you how fast you can create one with job form and i'm going to show you how fast you can create a quiz here on job form so for example in the search bar we're going to search for quiz and there's going to be a ton of templates in this case 203 templates available and I'm going to use this online quiz. We have the option to preview it. If we're not ready to go, just go ahead and check it out. You can go ahead and test it. And if you like this one, you can go ahead and use the template and it's going to send it over to the form builder. In this case, we're able to work with this quiz and customize it to our liking. So for example, if we're not going to require student ID, we can just go ahead and remove it from the template and work with the other ones. Okay. So again, with job form, there's several elements that we can bring in. For example, you got drop downs, single choice, multiple choice, etc., and a bunch of other options. And when it comes to customization, we can go ahead and go into properties and set properties for this. For example, you have the options, you have surveying. So you want to shuffle options if you, if you want, you have advanced options and just a ton of options here on job form. That's going to make it really flexible and really highly customizable. Plus you have all the options for conditional logic, which is always a good option conditions. So depending on the response that they provide, you can use conditional logic. Like in this case, the conditional logic is set to give you points based on this. Let's go ahead and check it out. Let's jump into the option. And you can see here that if the answer is correct, you can see the value is 50. Okay. And you're going to get a question here from the total points at the end. Okay. And same thing goes for all the quiz questions that you're going to add. Plus, you can also use conditional logic to hide and show fields, depending if they answer correctly. If not, you can go ahead and do something else with conditional logic, which is always a great option. Okay. And once you set up your quiz on job form, go to publish and you're going to be able to send it out via link. You can send it via email and or, or share it here or create a QR code. And if you want to test it out, there's always the option for preview form. If you're not ready to send it out, you're able to test it here. Now, I also want to show you a way that you can create quizzes using job form AI. You can upload a file like a PowerPoint, a PDF, a node, etc. By just uploading it, it's going to create a quiz based on that file that you uploaded, or you can use a prompt. That means that you can write a prompt based on the quiz that you want to generate, and it's going to do it for you. Let me give you a quick example. I'm going to paste this biology exam that I need. And it's for high school students. That means it's going to know what grade and what type of questions it needs to generate. So let's go ahead, go ahead and continue. It's going to ask us how many questions we want to generate here. In this case, 10, the language, the type of questions, single choice, multiple choice, and yes or no. In this case, I'm going to select all three for this purpose. And let's go ahead and create the quiz. And it's going to take a few seconds and it's going to generate it for us. So let's give it a few seconds. There we go. The biology exam has been created with 10 questions. You can go ahead and customize it, which would take you to the form editor to edit all these questions. You can also share the quiz, view desktop, mobile phone and tablet, or just go ahead and get started and see if it's the right questions that it generated for you. So in this case, let me just go ahead and go through this. Oh, here we go. Multiple choice, single choice, yes and no, and I'll skip through the rest. Go ahead and go next. And at the end, it should give us the results. So in this case, we got a 16.67% out of 100 because it generated the quiz and it also generated which one is the correct answer. So in this case, I can go ahead and retake it or share it if I'm good to go or customize it if I need to change a question, change the response, etc. all from here. 
So that's a really great way to create a quiz here on job form using AI. But there you go. That's how you're going to create a quiz on Google Forms. If you need to know more about Google Forms, let us know here in the comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.